Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am working on redoing my kitchen cabinets. <laughs> I was slow to that because I, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. I watched a couple of videos. Yes, Jonah. That's my son. This is why most of my videos are voiceovers because my kiddos are always in the background. Yes, Jonah. What? I will in a second, okay? He wants me to charge his tablet. Anyway, so I've got all of my cabinets pulled off of, all of my doors pulled off of the cabinets and um, I'm getting ready to lay them out and I'm gonna wash them down first. Then I'm going to apply some paint thinner to them. Um, I want to try to strip off as much of the gloss that's already on them and the paint that's on them so that when I apply my new coat of paint, it adheres properly. So right now I've got a, um, a piece of plastic down on the floor for painting. You know, you cover your floor before you paint, blah, blah, blah. So I put that down first and then I'm gonna put my doors down and then I'm gonna start my process. So if you're interested in watching how I do this all by myself, I am home alone. Just me and my three-year-old. He's no help. His soccer ball has been all over this plastic piece. I have I sent him in a room to watch The Incredibles so that he doesn't get into any of my stuff while I'm trying to get this done. So if you are interested in seeing how I do this, then stay tuned. It's going to be a nice, full, fun day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos that come out. I'll be putting out some bomb videos. I'm just saying. I laid all my cabinet doors out on the plastic with the back side face up so that I was able to go in and remove the hinges. I used a bleach and soap and water mixture that I made in an old Windex bottle and wiped down all my cabinets. Now that they're all clean, I'm going in with my Ryobi cordless power drill and I'm going to be removing all the hinges from the backs of the doors. I kept all of my nails in one place so they will be easy to find at the end of my project. Preparing to apply my paint thinner, I put on some rubber gloves. Let me just say this was a horrible idea. The paint thinner ate right through these rubber gloves and you'll see that as this video goes on. So I would suggest choosing something different to protect your hands um, when applying the paint thinner to anything. 
I applied a generous amount of the paint thinner to my cabinet doors. I wanted to remove as much of that glossy finish as I could off of the front of my cabinet doors because I wanted my new paint to adhere to it properly and be a nice clean finish. So I'm not sure what kind of gloves um, to recommend to you guys to use, but definitely do not use rubber gloves. I ended up with paint thinner all over my hands. Now it's time for the fun part. It is time to paint. I'm going to be going in with some sponge brushes, a large one and a smaller one to complete this project. I um, chose not to use a roller because I wanted to make sure that I got in all of the grooves, nooks and crannies and the cabinet doors and there are quite a few of them on these. So um, I used my sponge brushes to get the job done. It made for the project being a little longer. but it was well worth it. The finished product was extremely smooth, so I prefer it this way. So I started off with my small brush and I went in and started applying the paint to the grooves on the inside of the cabinet doors. Um, I wanted to hit that area first and then apply the paint to the flat surfaces of the cabinet doors. And here's just a close-up of what I'm doing. I apologize for the shaky footage. I'm trying to paint this piece and hold the camera with my other hand. That was fun. So I am all done with applying the first layer to the front of my um, cabinet doors. I'm going to let these sit and dry for a little while and then I'm going to go back in and um, add a second layer, give that some time to dry, flip it over, and then do the other side. Um, I have a plan for what I want to do so that I don't have to wait so long for the front end to dry for me to do the back. So. Um, once I get to that step, I'll come back to you guys. Whew, this is a tedious project, but I'm already loving how the paint is looking. I'm loving the coverage that I'm getting. It is a Glidden Premium um, Onyx Black paint, and I am absolutely loving the finish that I'm getting uh, so far. So yeah, I am going to stuff my face, have another cup of coffee, and then I'm gonna go in and put in my second layer on the front side of my cabinet doors. Woohoo! Woo! I'm gonna keep on pushing till I'm done. Keep on pushing till I'm done. I'm not quitting till I'm done. I'm not going to bed until everything is painted in its final coat. And drying. I guess I can reassemble tomorrow. So this will be a two day project. I would like to leave everything to dry overnight. So all right, back into this we go. So into the kitchen I go. I'm just gonna start with the putting down my frog tape. It's painter's tape. And I'm going to cover up all the areas where I don't want the paint to hit. Where the paint is going to come in contact with the inside of the cabinets i want to make sure that space is covered
So the front end of my cabinet doors are drying. So I'm just gonna give that time to dry and go ahead and start my first layer on the cabinets and the drawers. I did not take the drawers out either. I left those in because I only need to cover the front. So I just pulled them out, applied the paint and let them sit there to dry. I'm also gonna be applying two coats of paint to my cabinets as well as the doors. Just a little dance break here. <laughs> I was listening to Ty Tribbett, and if you know of him, you know he is lit. Okay, you guys, so the cabinets are coming together pretty well. This is coat number one of paint. You can still see some streaks there where um, I missed some spots. Um, so I'm gonna go in and do a second paint. The green that you see is the tape. That is, what is it called? It's, it's a frog, frog painting tape. It's supposed to be better than the blue painting tape, um, which I can vouch and say that it actually is. When I pull the tape off, I get an extremely straight line. I absolutely love using it. I'm glad to have it because I'll be using it in other projects as well, not just um, not just for painting my home when I do my DIYs at my desk. And as you can see, I didn't pull everything out of the cabinets. I just pushed it to the back. I didn't want to have to restock everything. Um, I left in areas where I knew the paint wouldn't get to, well, that's where I left the items. This here, oh, everybody should have a bag of nails in their house, muy importante. This here is the piece that goes connected to right here. It broke off some time ago, so I need to make sure that I paint this, but this was the original color in this kitchen. So, I'm going to clean this off and paint this and of course I've got the goods to reattach it to where it's supposed to go. So yeah, I'm loving how it's turning out so far. So I am going to take a break, have some dinner and possibly a glass of wine. I don't know, I'm afraid to do that because if I do that then I may not paint the rest of the night. Excuse the mess. I just pulled everything out and sat it down. And I didn't do any um, covering of the counters or the stove or the floor or anything like that while I was painting. Um, I'm just gonna use the paint thinner and rub it on the floors. Because I knew I was using small brushes, I used my small sponge brushes for most of the project. The only thing that I used my roller for was this backsplash wall right here. And this is where my trash can goes. My, my garbage can actually goes right here. And now that I have a all of my walls and my cabinets are, well, not my walls, this particular wall, and my cabinets are black, I'm going to be looking for a stainless steel, um, a chrome garbage can to add to this space and I don't want to put it here I'm trying to figure out something else that I could use for this wall space right here I want to actually put a garbage the garbage can underneath the cabinet sink so that it's not visible I was at a friend's house one day okay I had to send my kids in the room because they're just way too loud anyway um, I was visiting a friend and she had a garbage can under her sink and you were able to like pull it out and there was like a track down there so if anybody is familiar with that, then please um, comment down below and let me know where I can find that. Um, I know I can look for it in Home Depot, so when I get around to that part of the project, then I will 
definitely look into that in the Home Depot. That's where I usually am. I always say I'm gonna go in Lowe's, but I always end up in Home Depot. Doors to my cabinets. I apologize for the lighting. That's another, this is another space that I want to renovate and change over and things like that. Cause the lighting in here is very, very poor. Very, very poor lighting in, in my living space, in my living area. Um, but these are the cabinets. And they are turning out really nice. So, this is mainly what I want to be able to give a second coat to before I uh, put the hinges back on and put them back on, um, on the cabinets. I really wanna do a second layer of paint on the doors tonight so I can just paint tomorrow. I've got my ceiling fan going um, to help with the drying process and this ceiling fan is the bomb. I love this fan. I just hate the lighting. And I put down my plastic, because as you can see, I've got paint everywhere while painting, but it's all good. Ooh, even on myself. While I'm painting, like, these have lots of grooves right in here, and then on the outside too, like, it's just better for me to use the sponge brushes instead of a roller. It's, it takes more time, but I have time to spare and I want this project to be perfect. So I'm just gonna take my time and sponge paint these. I already did my first layer, top and bottom on these and I'm just gonna go in and do a second one. Closing it, I've got my hinges here, down in here. And this is um, vinegar and baking soda that I've got them sitting in, vinegar and baking soda. These were, oh my God, they are like disgustingly dirty. So I'm gonna let them sit in the vinegar and baking soda overnight. And I know it's already working because I can see chunks of dirt in the baking soda and vinegar. Um, so I'm just gonna let that sit overnight and then I'll come back to it in the morning, put them in some dish soap and water, wash those down, and hopefully this project can be done with tomorrow. All right, you guys, it is currently 10.35 p.m. I started this project at like 2.45. Um, I know it was right before three o'clock because my kids were getting ready to get off the bus. That's how I remember what time. <laughs> anyway, so I have been working on this project for almost seven hours straight. I took time in between here and there to eat and uh, replenish my body um, but for the most part I continuously worked throughout this entire day for a straight seven hours I have applied my first and second coat to all of the doors and to all of the cabinets to all of the baseboards every piece of the kitchen has been covered in its first and second coat of the um, black paint that I picked I can't remember what it was called it was called like Onyx, I think. Yeah, Onyx, the Onyx black paint. I am exhausted, <clears throat> but I am still going to press through and I'm gonna finish the job tomorrow. So I'm gonna shower, get some rest. I'm taking it to bed, you guys. I'm exhausted and I will see you guys. I would say bright and early tomorrow, but it might be like noon. <laughs> But I'm pushing for bright and early, so. All right, everybody, welcome back. It is day two and it's after 11. But hey, we're still moving forward. <clears throat> Everything is done drying and is ready to be put back together. So I'm gonna go in and put my hinges back in and um, get ready to attach them to the cabinets. So uh, one thing that I did forget to share with you guys is how I was able to paint both sides in one day and let them dry. <clears throat> so what I did was I went in with some tacks and I stuck them to the edges on all four sides and then I was able to flip it, let it dry, let that continue to dry while I painted this side. That way it wasn't like laying flat. 
So that's how I did all of my pieces. Doesn't leave a mark or anything, so I'm happy about that. It was a chilly morning, so I put on my hoodie and I was able to use it for my project. I stuffed all the hinges inside the hoodie pocket and just walked around and stuck them back in where they go. Going back in with my Ryobi drill, I'm going to be putting all of my nails back inside the hinges. Doing this down on the floor like this was killing my knees, so I used an old pillow that we don't use anymore to put down on my knees and I quickly got hot, so I took off the hoodie. <laughs> So it's just me and Jonah again today. As you see, he has on his hoodie too. And right now I, I'm getting questioned as to why I don't have on my hoodie. He was not happy that I took mine off. <laughs> okay, so I have applied all of my hinges to my doors, um, but I've noticed some little, some little imperfections in the paint. Um, so after I apply them back to the cabinets, then I'm going to um, go in with a small sponge brush and just touch up those little areas. Now is the perfect time for me to be able to do that because all of the kids are at school, my husband is at work, so um, this is a perfect opportunity for me to do that. I don't have to worry about people touching on the cabinets and things like that. So yeah, I'm going to get started on that. I'll be right back. So I'm applying my doors back to the cabinets and making lunch for Jonah. And this little fella decides to play in my camera. And he gave it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys like this video. I didn't even realize he was playing in the camera behind me, but I thought I'd keep this clip because he's just so darn cute. Putting these cabinet doors up by myself was a task. It was really hard. It was hard to get them straight on there. Um, it was hard to hold the door and drill the nail in, but I was able to do it. And you can too. All right, so one side of the kitchen is done with the doors being put up. 
As I said earlier, it was difficult doing this and I was dropping the doors, dropping the doors and it was causing the paint to scratch and scuff. But it's all good. I'm still pressing forward. I'm just gonna go in with my sponge brush and touch up the little areas where I scratched the paint. What I did to make it easier for me to put these up by myself was I stuck the nails in. I screwed them in a tad bit with my hand and that gave the drawer, I'm sorry, the door the support it needed to stand without me needing an extra body. And then I used the drill and finished the rest of the job. the drawers make sure that you label your doors when you when you take them off so you know exactly where everything is supposed to go because I made the mistake of not doing that skipping a step trying to save myself some time and then this is what I got I attached this door and then I closed it and was like oh my god so I have to take that off and I do believe that these two that I saved to go here actually go over here because these have like this little flap here to make up the difference in the size of the cabinets i'm guessing that that's what that's for so i'm going to take these this one off and this one off and swap them out for these two don't skip the step of labeling your doors when you take them off your cabinet so you know exactly where they go back everyone Jayden! 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 I am done with the cabinets oh, they are all put one. together I just had my kiddos wash the dishes for me and I'm gonna keep cleaning um, but I love how they came together they came together really really nice for me to have done them by myself I still need to wipe them down um, I have, uh, there's a lot, a lot of fingerprints and stuff like that on them. And also some little areas that I'm going to have to patch up where I like, where I was dropping the drawers or scratching them on the floors, um, trying to reassemble, trying to reassemble these by myself was a task. I had to use like my shoulders and my knees. <laughs> so if you have a second hand on, um, a, a second person on hand, that would be great. My son. He's cleaning up the kitchen, putting away the dishes. Say hi, Jaden. Hey. <laughs> so yeah, I absolutely love it. Oh, and I still have to put that piece together. For the most part, for the most part, it's all done. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this long process. I'm absolutely loving the way everything finished. There will be a video coming soon with my cabinet reorganization. I know you guys saw that that was a hot mess. So just a little bit at a time, I'm putting my kitchen back together. Remember to like, subscribe, and share with family and friends. God is love. Good night.